Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to inspect your Microsoft Excel workbook for hidden data. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So definitely a good idea before you send out these Excel files to various colleagues or coworkers or you know professional or clients. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by selecting the File tab up in the top left corner of Excel. And you want to go down and select Info on the left panel here. And on the right side where it says Inspect Workbook, click the Check for Issues button. And select where it says Inspect Document, check the workbook for hidden properties or personal information. Go ahead and select that. So you can see various things it's going to check for. So Comments, Documents, Properties, and Personal Information. So any hidden metadata or personal information saved on the document, data model, content add-ins, any task pane add-ins, so now there's more compatibility issues perhaps, uh, pivot tables, embedded documents, macros, links to other files, so that definitely is a potential reason that certain Excel workbooks could break connectivity pretty easily, uh, real-time data functions, surveys, defined scenarios, uh, and you guys get the gist, the biggest stuff was up at the top here. And any hidden worksheets, of course, you definitely don't want that. And any invisible content. So workbook objects that are not visible because they have been formatted as invisible. This does not include objects that are covered by other objects. And go ahead and select inspect. And it should give you a list of all the related issues here. And you can see that it did find information such as Document properties, author, related dates, it recommends we remove all. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And if you scroll down the list here, it should give you a list of any issues that were potentially found. And you can select close. And that's pretty much it. So that's definitely a good little utility to know about that's built into Microsoft Excel. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.